What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Slackers. Before we get into today's main business, and I know that's what a lot of us are here for, I just want to float this idea by you. I know a lot of us are kind of hyped about uh, Sephiroth's reveal. Let me just, I just like, this brought a smile to my face. We're gonna get a Sephiroth, I mean, this isn't the real one, this is just a mock-up I found, which is funny. They're like, oh, this sword's gonna be gigantic, so how are they gonna box him? And it was funny. But just floating that out there by you guys. We're gonna get a Sephiroth Amiibo. Who's hyped about that? I know I am. I'll buy like, I will guarantee, I'll probably buy two, if not three. I'll do, I'm getting two for sure. But uh, anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. Uh, a couple months ago, I made a video on this Smash Bros. leaked DLC list, and I always put those in quotations because we don't know for sure. But there's evidence that kind of is showing that this is this leaked list is getting more and more credible as each Smash Bros. fighter was announced. So this leaked list, and I'm gonna keep doing that, <laughs> but this leaked list was um, uh, was made on uh, Friday, May 31st of 2019. Keep in mind, so you got to go back to before Banjo and Hero were revealed at E3 that year. So at that point, we only had Joker. I know we had Piranha Plant, but for the Fighters Pass characters, we only had Joker revealed. So this person, if you don't know the backstory, this list is claiming they have a friend who works at Namco. They're, you know, that that good old thing. And they, uh, they know that they knew the characters that were on the list that Nintendo presented to Sakurai and said, all right, here's what we could work with. Can you make these work? And then they kind of figured it out from there. So here's the list of characters. There's 41 characters. And I, I promise I'm getting to the point why this is making more and more. The list seems more and more credible. But we got Joker, Amaterasu, Arthur, Vendetta. You know what? If you want to read the list, I will leave the link to it in the description. But let's get to this. So the reason that this list is becoming more and more and more and more credible. Every single character that we've had so far revealed after Joker, keep in mind, after Joker has been on this list. I know, I know some people are going to say, whoa, Min Min's not on this list. I have a point about that. I will get to it, I promise. So, every character has been uh, on this list that has been a DLC character except Min Min. We'll talk about that. But, so, anybody, I know, I know a lot of people will just say, well, I could just make a list and uh, throw everything on there. And I'm bound to get some things right as well. This list isn't getting just some things. This list is getting everything correct. Everything. All right? Now, I think the, the fun part is, again, you got to keep in mind, we got to go back. I can't emphasize that enough. You got to go back to May 2019. I know this seems like a decade ago, but we got to go back to that sort of mindset. Characters that we thought were going to happen, right? Uh, at the time, Erdrick. It was not the hero. That was not the rumor. It was Erdrick for... Uh, for a Dragon Quest character. Erdrick happens to be on this. That's the name of the character that is on this list right now. Interesting. Um, uh, another one I want to point out. Byleth is on this list as well. Obviously because he was in, uh, Smash, well, he's in Smash Bros now. But think back to Fire Emblem. And the Three Houses specifically. When a lot of people were thinking that we could get another Fire Emblem character. What was the more common name at at first? Edelgard. But her name just doesn't happen to appear on this list. Now, of course, we know Byleth ended up becoming the character. Edelgard is a spirit. But it's just an interesting note. This is the point. If you're going to make a list of characters, you're just going to be like, yeah, I'll just make up a list of every single character. Edelgard should have been on this list. She's not. You want to know another character that should be on this list? If we're going to say, yeah, I'm going to make the giant list of characters, and I'd be right too. Where's Gino? Hmm, let's see. E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, look, there's not a character that starts with the letter G. It goes from F to H. Gino should be on this list if we're going to say, all right, you can just make anything and it will be. I think there is some sort of credibility. And as every character has been revealed since then, of course, um... We got Hero, which was Erdrick, and then we got Banjo, who was also on the list. He's up here. Yep, there he is. So we got Banjo, and then following that, Terry Bogard, which was a character nobody was talking about. Nobody was giving the time of day to Terry Bogard. But yeah, look at this. Terry Bogard is on this list as well. And again, this was made only after we knew Joker was the only character so far. So this list kept getting more and more credibility, 
because then after Terry Bogard came Byleth, right? Great so far. So how, I mean, you can see where this is going, why this is getting more and more credible, right? Of course, it doesn't have Min Min, and I think the main reason this does not have Min Min is this might be around the time frame, May 31st, 2019. This is around the time frame that Nintendo is starting to finally put together and finalize what could look like Fighters Pass 2. Now, they're not working on the characters because they still do a lot of work for Fighter Pass uh, Volume 1. They still had, well, four characters to go at this time. So, I think the, the way that this kind of plays out for me is Min Min wasn't on this list. Because if you remember, go back and watch the... I, I should put up a couple of screenshots here. But uh, think of the, uh, the, the, the Min Min presentation where Sakurai said Mr. Yabuki himself said that he wanted Min Min. Now, Sakura did say he was thinking Min Min, but he was also thinking Ninjara. Now, I, I think that's the reason we don't see an ARMS character actually on this list. Because I think they just kind of settled on, alright, we'll do ARMS, but we're going to get his input later on. So, nobody knew an ARMS character, they didn't know what it was. So, in my mind, that kind of makes sense why we don't see uh, any ARMS, we don't see Min Min, we don't see Ninjara on this list. Because they hadn't made up their mind. It's first party, so they got a little bit more room to work with, right? Just kind of, hey, we own it. We just got to go approach Mr. Yabuki and say, who would you prefer? And then they work from there. So it wasn't like, all right, here's this list. And again, this was the list kind of presented for Fighters Pass Volume 1 and then potentially more into the future. So as more and more characters got revealed after Min Min, of course, we know we got Steve. Guess what? Steve happens to be on this list. And... Now, with the most recent edition of Sephiroth, who, is that Thursday? I think Thursday we get the presentation Sakurai presents. I'm very excited. Hoping for, like, not a shadow drop, but I'm hoping that it just goes, oh yeah, after this presentation, Sephiroth's out. That would be fun. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for Sephiroth. He's going to be cool. I'm thinking next week, though. Anyway, back to this. But then Sephiroth gets revealed. Now, again, Sephiroth on this list, adding another point of credibility to this. So every single character that's been revealed except Min Min, which kind of makes sense. Because again, they approached somebody else and they gave their input. So it wasn't, ARMS was definitely going to happen. It was just kind of like, all right, we need a character. Let's go first party. But we got to you know, see what he says. What is his preference? So I think that's kind of why Min Min isn't on the list. And everything else is turning out correct so far. So this is... The list is looking good. Again, you could say, make up the list, throw a bunch of names onto a list, and you're bound to be right. Sure, but only until a certain point. And so far, this list has pretty much nailed everything. Like, let's just focus on the Sephiroth thing for, for a second. Uh, well, maybe a couple minutes here, but uh, focus on Sephiroth. Final Fantasy was not a third-party franchise. Anybody, I don't care how big of a fan of Sephiroth or Cloud or... The Final Fantasy series you are. Nobody was thinking we're getting a second Final Fantasy character. Let alone how stingy they were with the music. We don't have any Final Fantasy spirit. No, character spirits don't count. We don't have any Final Fantasy spirits. And then we go and get another fun. This, Sephiroth? I don't know. Like, if I was going to make a list, I don't think I would have included Sephiroth. That was just going to be like, nah, that'd be great. I would love that for that to happen. That ain't gonna happen, I ain't gonna include him. But guess what? There he is, right? <laughs> right after Ryu Hayabusa, and right before Shantae. And again, Sora is on here. Square characters are on here. Lara Croft is on here. But again, no Geno, which is always one of the most talked about characters for Smash Bros. So, if I, I'm start, I'm not a 100% believer because um, I'm always, <laughs> I am like to be very skeptical when it comes to Smash Bros, but like, this is something we should keep our eyes on, 100%. If the next character revealed is on this list, we might know who's going to finish out the Fighters Pass thing. We might know that. So, like, anybody's... There's so many options on here, just to name a couple. Amaterasu, Bandana Waddledee's on here, Captain T Chun li perhaps, Crash Bandicoot, Doom Slayer, um, Hayachi. I mean, he ended up turning into a me costume, but... Uh, we got Lana from Hyrule Warriors. I'm presuming that's the one. 
Leon Kennedy is on this list, Resident Evil. Resident Evil is ginormous over in Japan, has a huge following. So it makes sense for a Resident Evil character to be at least on the on this uh, list, right? You got Monster Hunter, again, very popular all over the world. Rayman, Rex, Ryu Hayabusa we talked about, Sora, Spyro, Terry Boga. I mean, like, we already got Terry Boga. Here, here's an interesting one. Here's an interesting one. They have quote on here. They got quote on here. Quote is from an indie game titled Cave Story. Now, if they were going to talk about if they were going to include indie characters as playable characters, why was Sans, who's not on here, by the way, who is, well, as we know, is a me costume. Why is Cuphead also not on this list? Maybe that's because they kind of, I don't want to speak for Nintendo because I don't work for them, but maybe they, in their mind, they're like, all right, maybe we'll just throw a couple names out there, but we'll see what happens. Maybe, uh, maybe me costume was decided later on and like, yep, that's probably the better way to go. So this list is definitely more and more credible the more and more characters that get announced, right? So, like, uh, another character that was highly, highly thought of, right? Uh, Cosmos, Cosmos, Cosmo, Cos, Cos, the one from the Xeno franchise. Yes, I say it wrong every time. Even if I say it right from one person, I'm not getting down that road. Cosmos, Xeno Saga, Xeno Blade, not on this list either. Interesting. I'm just saying, if you're going to make a list, you're going to go with the highly thought of characters, the ones that are always in discussion, mainly Gino being the huge exclusion, or Gino, not on this list. So uh, if you believe this list, well then, I, I guess, sure, but to keep it in the back burner. Again, th that's the big point from this whole thing. This list is credible, keep it on the back burner, and if the next character that gets revealed is on this list, this might be legit. This might be legit. So uh, look, there, there's 41 characters that are listed on here. That's including every character that's been revealed so far. And after Sephiroth, we got three spots left. So, I mean, I know my, I know my picks I would like to see. Uh, you know, Crash is definitely up there. I would love to see Crash. Uh, Leon would make a fun character. Like, I don't know, Rex, Ryu Hayabusa, Sora, uh, Spyro, just to name a couple would be absolutely awesome. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you believe this list is actually legit? I think it's definitely more credible. I can't, I, I've said that so many times that I think it makes sense now. <laughs> so, uh, this should be fun. I mean, we're going to have to probably wait quite a few months before we get the next reveal and release, but if they get revealed and they're on this list, we know what we're looking for for the rest of the Fighters Pass then. So, uh, and you can't have this many names keep getting 100% correct and just call it, oh, it's a lucky guess. You can only have a lucky guess for so long until something goes wrong. And again, the Min Min, we already talked about that. There's a reason for that. But that is all. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. Sephiroth Amiibo. <laughs> I, want, I want two. I want two. I want five of them. Uh, but no, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess we'll see you when I'm looking at you. Peace.